is he the man for West Ham for the future as well? Because I felt like this season, they tried to change things up a little bit. They wanted mm. to play more possession-based progressive football. They got the players, mm. a different profile players that you would des describe as a David Moyes style. Yeah. Is he maybe... Is this progression a step too far for David Moyes? Uh, honestly, Michelle, at, at this point, I won't... I, it's difficult to say if it's if it's beyond David Moyes. Mm. Uh, I genuinely think he's a decent football manager. Okay. Um, I think West Ham have benefited a lot from him. Do I think that he could have done a lot better this season? Yes. But do I also think there's been some issues with you know profiling of their recruitment? I think yes too. For example, Jan Lucas Kamaka. I think anyone who watched West Ham over the last two years would have looked at that signing yeah, and thought that, that, themselves... That's what I mean. The, the signings suggest he wanted to try a different style of yeah, play. Yeah, but it's not exactly worked out, yeah. has it? And, yeah. and Skamaka himself has just been in and out mm. of the team with injuries and that's what prompted Danny Ings' arrival. I think they need a decent striker. That's first and foremost. Yeah. Um, but the bigger headache that David Moyes has got to deal with this summer is... Uh, Declan Rice, that's a whole different chapter altogether. I think it'll be more of a case of where rather than if when yeah. it comes to Declan Rice this summer, really. It certainly is heating up in the Premier League as we approach the final stretch of the season. The Toons, of course, looking to secure those Champions League spots as they welcome title-chasing Arsenal to St James's Park. Can West Ham and David Moyes break their losing streak as they welcome Manchester United to London Stadium? How about a tasty relegation battle between Nottingham Forest and Southampton? So much at stake. And as per usual, all your stats, predictions, and more only on the Big Kickoff.